The Maryland Department of Health is reporting the first malaria case not related to travel in more than 40 years. Now that person is now recovering at home after being hospitalized. Our Daniel Hamburg talked with an infectious disease do doctor with the Department of Health and Daniel, this is a rare occurrence in Maryland. Marielle, that's why there's not a lot of reason for concern, but the state does want people to be aware of possible symptoms. And if you're traveling somewhere where malaria is present, it's recommended to get medicine beforehand. Every year, Maryland has about 200 cases of malaria reported. One of the reasons is we have, uh, I believe, a lot of people in this area who do travel to places in the world where, where malaria is more common. Places including sub-Saharan Africa, parts of Asia, even places in Central and South America where malaria is much more common. Dr. David Blythe with the Maryland Department of Health says the person infected with this particular strain didn't travel though. The infection occurred over the last week or so, we received the confirmation, the confirmatory testing back from uh, CDC this afternoon. The Maryland Department of Health won't say where it happened, only that it's somewhere within Charles, Prince George's, Montgomery, or Frederick counties. Symptoms include high fever and then sometimes other symptoms, including muscle aches, uh, sometimes nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. If you do plan on traveling overseas to where malaria is more common, before you leave, check in with your uh, doctor to see about getting preventive medication because there is medication that you can take to prevent getting malaria. Blythe wants people to be aware, not afraid. We're hoping uh, that we won't see uh, any ongoing uh, transmission of this, and we haven't seen any indication of that. Now, one question lingering is if mosquitoes that carry the virus are so prevalent in Maryland, why don't we see malaria more commonly? Blythe says it's partly because there's more mosquito control and people aren't outside as much. In the studio, Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now.